Hi everyone, my name's Juliet, and today I'm going to talk about 10 things to learn to do in Audacity before you start your audiobook. If you don't know what Audacity is, it's a free piece of audio editing software that a lot of authors use. And this is for Audacity version 2.4.0. Number one, setting up your microphone level. This is a balance between the amount of background noise and the level of your actual audio recording. When I say background noise, I mean room tone, not the sounds that are coming from outside. It's important to get the best setting possible because in a home environment, you're unlikely to be totally noise free. Number two, Audacity has an ACX checker. This is a download and what it does is it checks that your audio is suitable for acceptance by ACX. So it's a very useful thing to have. Number three, Audacity also has something they call RMS Normalize, which normalizes your audio to the levels required for ACX, which is apparently difficult to do if you use the normal normalize function. This used to be a download, but is now integrated into the application and it's under loudness normalization. And there's a little pull down menu where you select RMS. Number four, you will also need to use the limiter function when processing your audio. This stops the peak value being above a certain level and the requirements for audiobooks is no more than minus three dB. Number five, noise reduction. It's highly likely you're going to need to use noise reduction because in a home setting, it's almost impossible to get the room tone so low that you don't hear some kind of crackle. You use this by making sure that you stay quiet either at the beginning or the end of your audio recording just to get the basic room tone. Then you highlight that and use the noise reduction function to get rid of some of that noise. Audacity recommends that you only have a maximum of 666 on the settings, otherwise you might slightly distort your voice. So that's what I use. Number six, learn about punch paste. I only found out about this very recently, just by watching a random video where they happened to mention it. What punch paste is, is that you can copy a small piece of room tone, say a couple of seconds, and then you can paste this into another place in your audio, but it will fill the space that you highlight. So it could fill a one second space or it could fill a five second space. It adjusts to whatever you need. This is extremely useful. I really wish I'd known about this one earlier. It's a download and you'll have to download two things, punch copy and punch paste. Number seven, equalization. I don't understand the full technicalities of equalization, but it does help to reduce the low rumble background noise and helps with some of the mouth sounds that you might make. This can be found under filter curve EQ and the presets are under manage and factory presets. This should be the first thing you do before doing the RMS normalize and the limiter. So it goes equalization, RMS normalize, limiter. Number eight, learn the shape of your waveforms. This will help with trying to find where the odd sounds are that you need to get rid of. Zoom in, zoom out, Different things are obvious at different magnifications, which I find both fascinating and somewhat annoying. Nine, decide how you're going to deal with spacing. I've seen a lot of people say that they use exactly the same spacing between every sentence, every paragraph, every comma. I'm not quite so keen on that because I think that kind of takes the life out of it a little bit. Yes, you need to be within a range, but you do need to have some feeling in your audio. 
However, I do have specific spaces that I leave between the title of the chapter and where the story starts and between sections. There are also specific requirements for before your chapter starts and at the end of your chapter. Test out what's best for your audio. Only you will know. Number 10. A little adjustment goes a long way. Don't fiddle with the audio too much. I understand ACX is quite tough on this. So the other things that I occasionally use are amplify to usually reduce the sound on just a particular word or a phrase. Fade in and fade out if something sounds a little bit harsh. Repair, which I've only recently tried using, and this by some magical algorithm helps you to repair little ticky tacky sounds in your audio. And there's also a draw function where you can draw out the kinks in your waveform. You need a steady hand for that one. There are a ton of other things that Audacity can do that I still haven't learned about and may never learn if I don't need it. But I'll keep you updated if I find any other functions that I think could be useful to you. You might also want to watch this video about 10 things to know before recording your audiobook that are more general and not about the software. I'll see you there and thank you for watching.